Well, that should be enough training for one day. I worked up quite a sweat. That was quite the training session. You must be tired. This world hasn't changed you at all. How are you liking it here anyway? Now that I've built a rapport with everyone, this place is starting to feel like a home. How are you finding it? Me? It's not bad. It was a bit of a shock making all these new friends at once, though. I'd never really spent much time with others besides us four winds. But I'll get used to it. Yes, it's certainly bustling. Reminds me a little of my hometown. Home? We never really talk about it. What was your family like? Well, my home life was happy. My parents were knights, and I always looked up to them. I know they loved me very much. That's why I became a knight. To make them proud. Love, huh? I'm almost a little jealous. What do you mean? Well... Growing up with loving parents sounds like a blessing. Not everyone gets to be loved growing up. Then again... Not everyone is capable of loving. Hmm. I feel as if we're not talking about me anymore. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to... Uh, don't mind me. You must be exhausted after your training. I didn't mean to bother you. We can chat later. Very well. Take care, Gregory. Hey, Madeline. Training again today? <sighs> Hello, Gregory. I am, but I was about to take a short break. Sorry about before. You were telling me about your parents, and I made it all about me. Please, no need to fret. It just made me worry for you. I wonder, would you share your story with me? Only if you feel comfortable, of course. I just hate to upset you again without knowing why. I appreciate that. You're so much more of an adult than me. I wouldn't go that far. It's ancient history and not even that interesting. But if you want to know, I grew up very poor. And to make it worse, my parents hated each other. At times, they were even violent. I don't remember them ever being kind to me. How awful. Even on my birthdays, they gave me nothing but scorn. All I really wanted was a stuffed toy. You know I can't stand pain. So I tried to be a good kid. Tried to avoid being punished. But it didn't help. They never loved me. Not to the bitter end when they... They sold me. That's horrible. I can't imagine parents discarding their own child like that. Believe it or not, it's the truth. The world is filled with people like that. I'm so sorry, Gregory. I had no idea. You don't need to apologize. Just... All that talk of home made me think of mine. It sounds like your parents were amazing people. You should wear their love like a medal. And your parents... How do you feel about them now? I hate them. I can't forgive them. But I try to convince myself they had their reasons. I wasn't able to be so detached before, but the Four Winds helped. You became my family. I'm glad. One day, I'll be able to tell my parents all this. Until then, thanks for listening to me. No. Thank you for telling me. This ought to be perfect. It's exactly as I envisioned it. What are you looking at? You seem so excited. Is this some sort of new training? Ah! Oh, Gregory! Practicing your stealth approach, I take it. A good technique. <laughs> Thanks. So, uh, what is that? A pile of dust? Excuse me? It's a sheep plushie. I've never made a toy before, so... I suppose it's not much good. Oh, a stuffed toy! I, I think I see it now! Yeah! It looks great! So, um... Is it a gift for someone? Well, I heard you like things that are soft and cuddly. Wait... It's for me? That was the idea, yes. But perhaps I'll keep this little one for myself. A dust bunny isn't a very becoming gift from a knight. 
I'll just give it a home on my bed. Gimme, it's perfect, Madeline. I'd love to have it, please. I I'm sorry I insulted it at first. This sheep is truly all I ever wanted. All right, all right. Goodness. Here, take it. Oh, thank you. This is amazing. It's so soft and fluffy. I've never been this happy before. But why did you make it for me? I didn't do anything to deserve it. Because you said you always wanted stuffed animals when you were little. Huh? Obviously, I can't go back in time and give this gift to little Gregory. But I can at least show some love to the Gregory standing in front of me. Your companions in the Four Winds, we love you. As do your friends here. You are loved. Even if that love came a little later than it should have. I wanted to express that somehow. So, I made you a gift. I... I don't know what to say. I had thought I was jealous of everyone else for growing up with loving families. But even if my parents didn't love me, I have friends who do. And who show that love. Exactly. And that dust bunny you've got proves it. This is no mere dust bunny. This is the cutest fluffy sheep to ever floof. I appreciate this so much. I can feel my younger self smiling. Thank you, Madeline. I'll always treasure this. I'd love to know what you like as well. I want to repay this heartfelt gift with my own. <laughs> I can't wait.